Hi, and welcome to Who Threw the Curve. This topic I'm about to speak about, it's, I can say, it's, it's almost like a catch-22, or it is a catch-22 topic, only because it's about the gun control laws and the Second Amendment. So my thing is, okay, my take in this is this. It's a tough situation because there are a lot of legally licensed fire, firearm holders out there, right? But I get the argument that guns are killing innocent people, children and adults. Uh, it doesn't matter what age. Unfortunately, uh, killing children is really, really like horrible and distressing because they're children. Like they didn't even get to leave live any part of their life uh but adults too they're all innocent uh bystanders some of these shootings or uh, well, a lot of these shootings a lot of these shootings that are being publicized because here in new york city there's shootings every day but they're not publicized people die every day but they're not publicized why because the bullet was meant for somebody and it wasn't an innocent bystander uh people got shot because they were in whatever mess they were in and that's just the, the way the street rolls but we're getting a lot in these rural, I, I think there's rural urban areas, a lot of mass shootings, which is a little, that's a little disturbing that somebody would get a rifle. Uh, I, I think the gun of choice is the AR uh, rifle, which is an assault. Well, somebody told me it's not an assault rifle, but it's a rifle. It's a powerful gun. And running around and shooting people in in groups like, you know, these are innocent people like in malls and schools and stuff like that. They're not they didn't go there with the expectations of waking up and going to a mall and shopping and having family time with the expectations of never to wake up again because some asshole decided to shoot up the joint. However. The gun control issue the reason I find it a little puzzling is so, for instance, just an example, as my introduction uh, recording, there are things in my life as like right now I'm going to share with you uh, that I'll share as, as, as time goes on. I was shot in my leg many, many years ago. We're talking about, I believe it was 1991, a lot of years ago. I was shot in my leg. The bullet was meant for me. However, uh, I may have thought I was innocent, but it was meant for me. Damn, that guy was so horrible. Point black grenade, he shot my leg. But that's a whole different story. But I'm not blaming the gun. I blame the fucking dude. Excuse my language, YouTube. I blame the dude. Why? The gun didn't pull itself, and the gun didn't like load itself and point at me to shoot me. Somebody did. So in this case, I see where the, you know, it's, it's the issues are not the guns themselves. The issues are these sick individuals that are walking around and we are letting them out. Or maybe, maybe they were never institutionalized. So we know we know they're sick, but somewhere along the line, the family knows there's something wrong. So shame on the families who are letting these people, whether it's your child, I'm sorry, my child is bugged. Uh, and all my children are adults, and one of them bugged, I'm going to be like, yo, check yourself in. And if they don't check themselves in, then I'm going to take care of the issue myself. But nobody's taking care of these people that are running around. Now, obviously, they're problematic, and I believe, if I look, I didn't, I didn't do the research right now, but I'm sure 99.9% .9 of the time, they wrote it somewhere in social media that these things or they were planning or they were acting up. So if we have all these government entities watching people on social media, then why are these people walking around and planning these things, which they always tell somebody. So somebody knows, right? But somebody decided not to share and allow it to happen. So there are a lot of problems that stem to this. The gun is the last of the problems, yeah? It's easy to get a gun in the United States and in some states here in New York City, rather, you can't own a gun. And I think in most of the state, you can't own a gun unless it's a rifle and you're going to go hunting, 
You know, it has to be a reason. You can't just have a gun to have one. Those who do have licenses are because they have businesses and they need guns for protection for whatever reason. However, there's guns all over New York City. There's people getting shot all over New York City, right? They're not being shot in in a mass the way other places are, but they're being shot. So it doesn't matter, you know, if it was 10 versus just three different uh, shootings, right? They were still getting shot by guns that were legally, uh, illegally out there. So the issues, I don't think the issues are the guns and maybe they do have to crack down maybe on not, you know, letting go of assault rifles. You know, why do you have an assault rifle if you don't, uh, or you, what, no, excuse my language because I know people are going to get at me because it's not an assault rifle. So why do you have a rifle, period, right, a semi-automatic, if you don't hunt, right? You got a handgun, I get it. You want to protect your home, you want to protect your family, I get it. But why you got this whole collection of rifles? Because I'm sure most of these people are not. Well, I've seen, I seen some people that have done these mass shootings. They did do some hunting somewhere in their life. Or somebody in their family did the hunting. That's how they got the gun. But why do you even have a gun and you don't hunt? You don't do anything. So why do you need a gun? So yet we sit here and we blame it on the gun, which is part of the problem. But it's the last of the problem. So let's, let's talk about the Second Amendment here. And I'm not talking about the Second Amendment, because everybody throws, oh, you know, it's part of the Constitution, and the Second Amendment says we have the right to bear arms. But why did our founding fathers, the framers, they decided to put that in there? It wasn't just for we could have guns. Half of the people don't even know why it's really in there. I'll tell you why it's in there. They wrote that because we should have guns, just in case. And I don't know if anybody's been watching the news lately, we're like inches away from a war, right? At any time it can happen. I hope it doesn't, but it can. not What happens if, God forbid, our borders are open and we got all these people walking in here? We don't know who's coming into this. Shit, for all we know, we, we let in a whole bunch of uh, mercenaries from Russia or China or whoever, whoever wants to get at us, right? We let them in because they came in. They walked through the border, right? Since it's so easy to get guns here, they don't have to come here with guns because they can get guns just like everybody else. So what do we do if we're declared war on, and these mercenaries are in the United States already? We have to protect ourselves. That's what is there. That's why the Second Amendment is there. We are the first protection for this country. So it's important to still own guns. But, and however, we need to somehow Rectify the situation of how people are getting or, or sick individuals are getting their hands on guns. That's the problem. How are these sick individuals getting their hands on guns? It's not the gun itself. Because eventually, God forbid, if we do get invaded or we are invaded already, they're just waiting for a trigger just for, you know, a, a war to be declared. They're in here already. How, is, how are we as United States uh uh, Americans, right? As Americans, how are we to protect ourselves and our country here if we have no guns? Hmm? That's why the Second Amendment's there. It's just not to have guns. No, it's a privilege to own a gun. It's not to just have it there and just to say, I have a gun, or to pull out a gun when somebody gets you mad to shoot them. No, it's there for the protection of you, your family, and society as a whole when needed. Okay? So, Let's treat it like that. But instead, we just want to make all these gun laws strip everybody of guns. Hence, war breaks out when we defend ourselves. I mean, I am Puerto Rican. I'm good with a knife. But, you know, you can't bring a knife to a gunfight, right? So the problems, again, is not the guns itself. Politicians have to get together. Oh, they are together. They just don't talk about anything. However, they have to like come to a conclusion or see what most people see, the gun's not the problem. It's the people and the individuals that are out there that are the problem. And they keep getting hold, you know, they, I don't know where they get the guns from, but they get them. And then they're sick individuals. That has to be fixed. Why are we letting people walk around that are bugged? For instance, and I'm going to bring it up. It's, I didn't want to talk about it because it's a very bad situation. 
uh, here in New York City, Maureen chokes out some homeless man who was a little deranged. Now, you know, I'm sure and I hope the Marine did not want to kill him, but he did. You know, and I think it was a little excessive that you're holding a man for 15 minutes in a chokehold. But that's a different story. OK, but he still had the right to protect himself. He didn't have the right to take a life. But why, the question is, was this man who does this all the time on a train allowed to walk on the trains and harass people? I saw, I saw a deranged man on a video sit down between two women. One woman got a chance to get up. The other one tried to, to get up, and he held her there by her hair. Like, and nobody was helping her. But they filmed the shit out of it. There's enough film of it, but nobody helped the lady. What's wrong with you? Like, where's this country going to? These people can't be outside. If they cannot participate in society, then society has to do something about them. They have to be removed. They either have to be refurbished, and I'm sorry if these are the wrong words that you that people don't want to hear, but they have to be like recycled or something because they can't function in society, and yet these things continue on and on. Every day I take the A train. Or the J train for those people in New York City that know those trains, they're horrible. They're full of the range people of not it's multiple colors. It's not picking up on picking on one uh, one type of people. It's not Puerto Ricans, not blacks, it's not Chinese, not white. They're all there's all different color deranged people. They're deranged, but they're on the train harassing people. You know what I'm saying? The only reason they don't bother me is because they look at me and they go, "No, this guy's crazy than I am." So they leave me alone. But we allow them to walk freely, like on the trains everywhere. And they're causing these things. Thank God these, these deranged people on the A-train don't have guns. Why? Because we kind of control the stuff in New York City. However, there are guns out there, so they may argue. But you're right. But most of them are drug dealers and stuff. And all those shootings have to do with the street, right? If you're in, if you're in the street game, then the bullet's probably going to be meant for you. That's a whole different story, and that's a whole different podcast. But as far as gun control laws, they probably have to be redone a little bit. However, let's control the people we give it to. Stop, like, number one, stop letting the range people. If somebody's a little bugged out and, you know, the fix sometimes is let's give them pills, but suppose they don't take their pills no more. Is that the fix anymore? No. They're still out there. They're not taking their pills. And the pills and the pill is never, or I should say, the pill is not always the answer. Don't let them out if they cannot function, and if the family doesn't want to take care of them, put them somewhere. You see how we do old people? I think I don't know if anybody saw my segment on what we do with our with our parents. We put them in old age homes. Why can't we put the range people in Bellevue? Well, here in New York City is Bellevue or anywhere else where they belong if they cannot function correctly in society. I don't know. So that's the problem. The deranged people, the sick people, that everybody goes, I mean, not everybody, but the government watches on YouTube, on, on a Twitter, on Facebook, just chatting away on what they're going to do. You know about it, but you let it happen. He's still or she's still walking around. That got to change. Then and only then, because we could keep changing the, the, the gun laws all day. They're still going to get guns. Guns are always going to creep out into the streets. So the guns are not the problem. It's the people that utilize them, the people who get their hands on these illegal guns. With that said, thank you. So with, with that said, I just want to, uh, you know, I truly feel sorry and my prayers go out to the families that not only to the recent ones in Texas, but to everybody who has suffered that and has suffered, you know, people running around, deranged people running around thinking they could just take lives just for the hell of it, which makes no sense. Like, why are you taking these innocent people's lives? They didn't do anything for it for you. Or I'm sorry. They didn't do anything to you. Uh, and what right do you have to take these lives? So uh, my prayers go out to the families. And 
you know, hopefully the politicians can get together and f- come to some conclusion to stop. You know, the first thing is we got to stop these crazy ass people walking around with guns or getting their hands on guns. I mean, if you're nuts, you shouldn't be out. You shouldn't be walking around. And again, prayers go out for me and I'm sure from Zach uh, to the families that had to suffer uh, the recent one and the ones in Texas and any others uh, because, you know, they're innocent people and they shouldn't have to go through that. Thank you.